So it is um, one minute to six. Two days out. Doing my final cardio session, and this one is. I mean, most of my cardio sessions, I try and get my heart rate to a certain point. This one's more kind of just most recovery that sometimes you can just overdo it and then it becomes counterproductive so this is all personal experience also it's worked with my clients as well so it's it's not a case of push 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 because if you're not ready now and you if you weren't ready a few days ago one cardio session isn't gonna isn't gonna cut it so right now it's more about um, just kind of the recovery type thing so I'm gonna go and head to the gym now get this done I feel good today. I feel I feel good. I, I really haven't been able to sleep, and I don't know. I don't know whether nerves are kicking in. I do feel a little bit nervous, but as when I was playing American football, when you go to um, play a game, they say nerves are good. That's why I always used to say to people. I used to coach American football as well, and that's why I used to say to um, my players, nerves are good. Nerves means that you want it. You're willing to do anything to get it. So, um, yeah, it's all good. Yeah, when, when I get home, I'm gonna talk about kind of like my views on when to cut water, should you cut water, sodium loading, should you sodium load, and all that kind of stuff, potassium and all that, all those tricks. So, um, yeah, I'm going to smash this cardio session and I will be back with you in a little bit. Catch you all later. Alright guys, so back from doing my cardio session. As you can see, my energy is still quite good. Um, even better because I just measured my waist. And I'm actually going to show you guys this. So, um flipping over the moon, over the moon. So, one sec. All right guys, so I'm gonna, I've got a tape measure. I'm gonna wrap it around my waist. I'm gonna pinch it where it stops and I'm gonna show you what my waist size is. Okay, I'm not sure if you guys can see. That was right there. Twenty nine point eight. So twenty eight point eight. I was wrong on the last video. My when I measured it the last time for the nationals last year, it was um, twenty nine point four. So I was like, okay, yeah, let me see if I can get into the twenty eights and mission accomplished. Very happy. Very very happy. Tape is going to look ridiculous. Anyway, I'm going to have breakfast and then we'll talk over breakfast. Alright guys, so um, I had breakfast and then fell asleep. <laughs> um, but I feel good for it. So today's chest session should be a good one. I feel suitably rested. Um, but just wanted to talk about sodium and... Um, the whole sodium, potassium, water depletion and all that kind of stuff. Okay, so most people would do, increase their water to 
like I mentioned in the previous video, to increase their natural diuretic system, so cause the flushing effect, which is fine. And then some people stop drinking water three days before the show. I'm like, wow, I did that for my first show at Miami Pro because that's what I read on the internet um, through someone's blog, not actual um, medical research and stuff. <laughs> And um, I fainted on, I pretty much fainted on stage. So dehydrated, it was so hot downstairs. It was just, it wasn't a good experience. And I looked more watery on stage. So then that's what made me research more, read more books and stuff. If you, your body is a complex being. If you cut something out, it will switch to survival mode um, which means that it will do whatever it can to make sure that it can sustain you with the lack of whatever you have so if you decide you want to cut your water it will retain the water that is available which will make you hold water and make you look watery so don't cut it, don't cut it three days out. Um, if you, I tend to cut it kind of, not even cut, I reduce it a large amount about, you know, the day, the day before towards the evening and then I'll still be sipping. Cause for carbs to go into your muscles, it needs water, so cutting it completely that's why some people they're like oh I'm flat I'm flat yeah that's because you've completely cut your water so I, I don't tend to do that um, then similar with sodium loading and sodium depletion it just uh, like majority of my clients I'll be like um, okay so make sure you're still salting your foods and they're like sorting my foods. I've been I've cut it out for the past three weeks. Why? 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 I didn't tell you to. I said keep sorting your food. Salt, water, and carbs are what gives you the full muscle belly look. So you can manipulate it to a certain point, but cutting it completely and loading and stuff. I, I hate drastic things during peak week. I hate it. I hate because it's just you've you're playing with fire after you've slaved away for however long you've prepped some people do 20 week prep so you've slaved away for 20 weeks for one particular moment one particular time on stage and you go and do something drastic that messes everything up keep it simple so um what i'll probably do is go into more detail about that kind of stuff post show if that's if type of stuff that people want to hear um, let me know in the comments section yeah I feel feel good today feel very good today final final main workout and it's almost showtime it's, it's crazy that I just I can't sleep one because I'm up every like hour needing to go to the toilet and I think the excitement and nerves and everything and <sighs> crazy 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 yeah it will be a good show regardless so we're gonna have fun we're gonna have fun that's the main thing I know people say I always train to win and otherwise what's the point in competing Oh, I compete to to just take place and come third and fourth. No, anyone that says that is is lying. You you compete if you're a competitive person, especially you compete to win. But then winning isn't everything, is what I'm trying to say. So yeah, have make sure you have fun, enjoy the process, enjoy the training. Hate the last week. <laughs> But also love to hate the last week. And then um yeah, have fun. Have fun. So it's all about. 
creating life experiences and competing for gold <laughs> anyway i will see you guys probably at the gym um danny's gonna come down i'm meeting danny he's gonna come and film the session so that's going to be a separate video i might get a couple little clips in there but yeah we're, we're going to work on a pretty major video so stay tuned in the next week for that because it's going to be sick but yeah i feel like i've talked enough i'm going to probably have another nap eat some more and then go to the gym see you in a little bit all right so danny's here now we're heading off to pink's gym the home of super heavyweight champ james hollingshead and it is the last chess session so i feel all right i feel good sun's out so, yeah, ready to smash it. <sighs> At least tomorrow is fairly easy. Alright, time to unveil my PCT plan. Now you didn't really think I meant post-psychotherapy because we all know I'm natural, baby. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I've got loads and loads of treats in here. Um, I'm going to go and get my hair cut first and then I'm going to unbox everything. But yeah, the, the main reason I ordered a lot of kind of like healthy treats for muscle food this time is um, I don't want the post-comp bloat rebound. It, it just... It's depressing. You know, we work so hard to get down to such a low body fat and looking so good in a way. And then within like two days, you can just mess all of it up and then it takes ages and then unnecessary hard work to bring it back to kind of okay. So my plan this time is to reverse diet nicely out, but some of the stuff that I've ordered will make it so, so much easier. So um, I'm going to go and, go and get my hair cut now and then I will show you my post-competition treats. PCT, baby. Alright, so back to the sweet boy look. Yeah, just nice and clean, chin strap. Like I mentioned on uh, when I did the Arnold's Men's physique, they don't like the whole beard thing, so. But yeah, Aisha and I just picked up some last minute food items uh, for this carb up that is going down tomorrow. Um, I, we're gonna head home now, and then I'll show you, I'll unbox the muscle food stuff and show you the stuff that I got. See you back at the house. All right, so back home now. Let's see what's in these muscle food boxes in my post-competition treat box. Four protein pizzas, spicy beef, spicy beef, mighty meat, another mighty meat, and protein bites, got these delicious cookies. Some more cookies and some more protein bites. They're all 
cheese and jalapeno relish. This one's a bit heavier. Oh yeah. Quest bars. That's the um, cookie dough. You got the Piri Piri hash sticks. The new turkey hash sticks, which I'm gonna do a little review on because they've literally only been out for like, um, I think a couple of weeks. Some more Piri Piri hash sticks. Some peri peri chicken thighs. You see where this is going? Everything seems to be peri peri. <laughs> Hot and spicy chicken wings. Some more chicken wings. Some more chicken wings. Some more turkey hash steak. Fat-free cheese, which, well, virtually fat-free. So per 100, it's like 2.2 grams of fat, 11 carb, 27 uh, protein, which is pretty decent. Uh, what else we got? Got some more peri-peri chicken thighs. and some egg whites. Anything else, anything else? Oh, and some um, nuts and more almond butter. Right, so that's it, that's, that's uh, my order this time. As you can see, I'm trying to keep it clean post comp. I don't want that rebound whatsoever. So on the day, um, on Sunday, I'm gonna be taking these with me for um, just after the show, before I have my cheat meal. And then, yeah, it's gonna be like protein pizzas and stuff just to make sure I don't balloon. But that's it. Don't want this video be to be too long because I still need to upload it at a decent time for you guys. But um, tomorrow is my full upper body circuit and then the carb up begins. So I'm going to take you through the full day. Um, today I'm probably going to wax and shave and all that kind of stuff. Um, ready to exfoliate tomorrow and then tan tomorrow. So yeah. The day is, the day is looming, the day is coming, the day is literally here. So let's do this. I'll see you guys tomorrow. You, you, you can you can run. R remember to always be true, no matter what you do. Money, I never front it, I got my whole cool life on.